Hi everyone, I'm Holly with Missouri River Soap and today I'm packing some orders from our March restock. And I do have some special requests. All of these um, that I'm packing on this one and probably I'll do a part two are all special requests. Now, I only take special requests during the initial release and then I only film once and then I don't film packing orders again until the next restock. So that's the plan that's how things go so this one says that um, my daughter Kylie would love to see her package packed in one of your videos so excited for this restock so hey Kylie this one's for you so we're going to put in a figgy cream soap good choice we have a green clover and aloe I'm going to mark these off as I go so I don't have any screw ups. I have some salt soap. Set those aside for just a minute. Let's see. Let's do tropical breezes next. So we have tropical breezes. And let's see. We have. Uh, let's put in the glacier pass. This is a cool water type. And we've got two sunny beaches soaps. One, two. Let me scoop those over just a bit, like so. And we've got a milk chocolate and a cherry kiss. I'm gonna mark these off. Uh, milk chocolate, cherry kiss, yep, yep. So let's see, I'll we'll put, start putting these down, down there. And so we have a pink grapefruit sea salt soap. I'm gonna put it here on the side. And then we have a candied citrus sea salt soap. I'm just going to set that right there. Then I'm going to use one of my little craft sheet covers. Alright, so the shred for this release is mostly craft, but I have a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, got some yellow, little iridescent in there. I'm trying to kind of use up what I have in stock still. I just thought it looked really nice with this fun spring green paper. Okay, so now to pick out the samples. So into this one I'm going to put in an Oh Sweet Baby and a Brambleberry Heart. That one's pink, nice. Oh, both of those are pink soap. Ha! That's funny. Not really, but pink is nice. So I'm going to put just a... Eh, let's put those underneath. We just need a little bit more shred just to take up that extra space. So I'm going to write my note, and I'll be back in with the invoice. Getting a little crowded over here. I see that this this is the naughty tape gun. I'm gonna go get the good tape gun. This one is the good one. It works so much better. The other one wrinkles the tape, but I do use it because often my husband puts the boxes together, and so he uh, he uses this one. So I'm going to pop on my little sticker. So here we have a package coming for you, Kylie. And we're going to get this all sealed up. Okay, so I'm going to print the label and I will come back for the next order. Okay, so this next one here is going to Puerto Rico. And we have a honey apricot soap. And we 
have a poppies and peaches soy wax melt. We have a grapefruit glow, a little bit of a little small soap there, so cute. And cherry dippy donut wax melt. So I want to thank everyone that ordered with this release. I was just so, so pleased to have such a great release. So thank you everybody. You have warmed my heart. Sold a lot of soap with this release, which is completely fun and awesome because soap's my thing. Okay, so for samples into this one, I'm going to do a Bunny Burps Wax Melt. And it's, it's quite a floral with a hint of sweetness and citrus buttermilk soap sample. Let's see, that needs just a, just a hint more padding right there. There we go. I've already got my note all done. And this is a 7x5x3 seven bo seven by by box workout. Super great for a little bit um, smaller orders. I usually can fit four four products as long as it's just smaller like these ones. If it was like a scrub or a milk bath that wouldn't work quite so well. Just love how this paper looks with those colors. It's just so pretty. So spring-like. We're still waiting for things to spring forth here, but pretty excited for all the lilacs and the snowball and oh, so many great things. So I had a nice little note on this order. Let's go see what it said again. I've read all of them, but I just noticed that it was kind of a bigger note. And let's just see what it says. All right, so this one says, hello all the way from Puerto Rico. Hello back all the way from Missouri. I love the packaging videos. Hope to be in one of them. So there you go. Awesome. Thanks so much. So let's look here. We've got to come over here. And I'm going to do my 753 box. I'm going to do um, 25 ounces. And I'm going to buy that label. I'm going to print that label. I'm going to click all the buttons that get to the point where I can print that label. So, I'm not going to show you where this is going. I'll put the label on it and I'll come back for the next one. Okay, I am back. I have another 753 here. And we have, let's see what we got going on. Okay, so we have a Tropical Breezes soap again. And we have a Glacier Pass. We have a Milk Chocolate. And a Lemon Lily soap. So, isn't that cute? I just love it. So this customer is from Montana. And she says, I'm still a local even though I don't live there anymore. And I must say, that just, that just made me so happy. I am still a Montanan, whether I live in Missouri or not. Oh, I can't wait to go back. I'm so excited to go back someday. Love it up there. So for samples on this one, I am going to do a patchouli rain and a figgy cream. And I've got my note written out already. Saves a little bit of time if I go ahead and just check everything off and write my note before I start the video. So we had a heck of a storm last night. My goodness gracious. I didn't think we were going to have internet this morning, but we did, thank goodness. But our little creek out front is not a creek. It's like a runoff, like wet weather runoff. And it crosses the road down by our driveway. And so it's been, it's been pretty flooded down there today. But that's another sign of the old spring in Missouri. 
Lots of rain, lots of flooding. Between the mole holes and all the rain, good golly, you about can't move them. Move about the yard. Let's see. We're gonna do a we're gonna do 30 ounces on this one. I ship cubic rates using Pirate Ship. I just love this app. I just love it. So we're gonna buy it. We're gonna print it. We're gonna print the button. Hit the we're not gonna print the button, we're gonna hit hit the print button. And all the buttons it takes to print one label. I'm going to slap this one on and then I think I'll come back and do one more before I start splitting off into another video. Okay, so I have been through this order and I'm ready to pack it up. What is going on here? So, this is a 8x6x3. I kind of decided to switch it up from the 9 and see what I thought. So, um, this one, we got the Tropical Breezes again. Those all, those all sold pretty well. They are gone. Strawberry Champagne is also gone. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Let's look. MoRiverSoap.com That's where we hang out, you know. MoRiverSoap.com So, I took all the sold out stuff off earlier today, so... It's not there. It is indeed sold out. Let's see. Honey Apricot is also sold out. Raspberry Oat also sold out. <laughs> I told you I sold a lot of soap this time. It's pretty exciting. We have... I don't need to sign up for my own emails. Okay. We've got Pink Grapefruit Sea Salt Soap. And the Candied citrus sea salt soap both of those are sold out everything went pretty well this time in the soap department i still have in stock as of filming i have a lot of the citrus shaped soaps i've got oh sweet baby smitten graceful glacier pass calendula carrot double milk cherry kiss uh, wild elderberry, green, green clover and aloe, figgy cream, citrus buttermilk, and sweet pea. So that's what I got left for the bar soaps as of this moment in time. I have quite a bit on the curing rack. I've been trying to remake a lot of stuff, but some of these that sold out this time, it'll take a while to get back around to getting those remade. I like I have luscious lemon is curing and crema cacao is curing. Looking over, I do have a bunch of new ones and a lot of new fun things coming, I think. Okay. So for samples on this one, I'm going to do a calendula carrot and a glacier pad. Let's pop those there. Now this one is a little bit different. We're doing a Canada delivery on this one. So I will be utilizing a padded mailer because that is still the absolute best option. The difference in this size of package um, on its own or in a mailer can be $20 in shipping. It's, just, it's quite a difference actually. So it's just something we have to do. I've tried to get away from the plastic mailers, but sometimes they just offer a price that cannot be achieved in any other way. Whoa. So these are the flat rate padded mailers and they can be used for domestic and international. I was using them for domestic quite a bit but because it is still a little bit cheaper even domestic if I put this package in here. In fact, let's, I'll go see what the price, well no, I can't do that right now because this one's Canadian. But anyway, it's not a huge difference and that's why I went to shipping just the boxes cubic rate in the US. So, that's what's going on there. Wait there. I don't know where my mallet is. Remember how 
My husband bought me a mallet because he said I was being silly using my, my tape guns and my tape dispenser. <laughs> and then I moved to Cubic and I had to put the mallet away. And I don't even know where he is. Poor guy. He had such so much hope. He was going to have such an amazing job with us. And then we just changed our process. So this is not wanting to go on. And the main reason is, is I had this side tape here, which I come across this way. And so it is definitely hindering the uh, going image of this. And it's even ripping. Oh, goodness gracious. Come on now. All we gotta do is get it in there. From there, we can tape it up pretty good. Let's see. Let's do an example. Let's do an example on this one. So, this one, I'm gonna do this for another customer. We're just gonna look at the difference. So, this is, and it doesn't really matter on weight so much. This particular one is 50 ounces. Um, let's look. So, Let's go to a priority mail, flat rate mailer, 50 ounces. I'm gonna get the rates. I'm just gonna pretend it's for another, another person. And then I'll tell you what the difference is in price. Okay, so this same box, domestic in a little bit, um, Colorado is another order I have pending, so I decided just to use it as my example. The box itself, compared to going in the mailer, the mailer is 65 cents cheaper. But I choose just to use the box and not be using all this extra plastic. But again, going to Canada and international, it just makes more sense. I suppose I can, I can tell you what the difference is on the Canadian one also. I do tape it up pretty good. You're gonna have to use a use a knife or some good scissors on the other side. But I know what these things go through. So it's kind of ridiculous, but our ultimate goal is to get it where it needs to go. So I gotta fill out the customs form and I'll be back. Okay, so I have this one finished and I filled out my customs form and I looked up the price differences. Okay, so if I were to send the box as is, which is fine to go the way it is, if I send the box outside of this mailer, it's an additional $21.50, which is almost double, not quite, but almost double what I'm going to pay on this as is. So. If you are someone that's shipping quite a bit, definitely look into international, you know, if definitely look into those because it does make a big difference. Okay, so I'm going to close up this part one and I will come back for a part two. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, I hope you'll watch the next one. And I want to thank everybody for your orders. Thank you so very much. I just think you're awesome and wonderful and thank you for supporting our small business. Thanks for watching.